so Maureen asks, what are some of the many benefits of alkaline and acid water? And since I can think of over a hundred, I'm just going to give you the category of those and then uh, I'll tell you how you can learn more about it. Well, personally, in terms of your own personal health, of course, we've talked about pH balance. You've got absorption, better absorption of nutrients. Um, cell health, which involves anti-aging and healing and oxygen. And then you also have the category of plants, which involves the acid water. And in fact, early on, a lot of the research that was done in the 50s was in the Orient about how to use acid water uh, for better plant growth. And that actually led eventually to the use of alkaline water for health in the body. So plants, then you have also pets and children. Um, also skin care, that again involves the acid water. And then you also have how to use the acid water for cleaning, uh, what it can do in terms of uh, surfaces and cleaning in a healthier way without toxins or chemicals or harsh detergents like that. So to learn about the many benefits of alkaline and acid water, um, actually if you go follow the link below, uh, there's actually a book that we have now which you can get called 101 Benefits to Alkaline and Acid Water. My next question is from Rachel who asks, is it the pH, the antioxidants, or something else that brings all the benefits of alkaline water? It's a good question. Well, certainly the antioxidants are a factor. They're going to help the body. pH is going to be something helping the body, body too. But the fact that ionized water has better absorption, it's going to help uh, fluid in and out of the cells of the body, help the body detoxify as well, and offset a lot of what we have to deal with in the environment these days. But I think there's also another component in terms of just the ions, the increase of ions, just like in the air. The more negative ions you have in the air, the healthier the air is. Um, so there's another energetic factor to ionized water as well. Well, another common question I get is, how does an ionizer work? Well, it works somewhat similar to a battery in your car. A battery in your car has a number of plates, it's in an acid solution, and then uh, electrical charge is put across those plates producing more electrical charge to start the car. So in a water ionizer you've got these plates in there as well and you get electricity going through the plates and then when the water goes in there the ions from the electrical charge via the plates goes off into the water where the minerals are and changes the state of the water to make it both pH but also high in antioxidants as well. So it's very similar to having a good car battery to get you going. My next question, Patty asks, are the $4,500 ionizers better than the $2,000 ones or yours that's only $895? Well, if you look at most of the ionizers on the market, the design has not changed in years. And some of the newer technology has really brought the price down and the quality up. So the one that we made uh, is actually newer technology. It costs less to make, but it actually functions, in my opinion, much better. Um, but for a lot of people, you know, the name brand Comfort is why they'll pay for something that's more expensive. Okay, so Tim asks, why are water ionizers so expensive? Well, there's really two answers. The first is some of the materials in the ionizer, uh, namely titanium and platinum, are very expensive. So that adds to the cost of the item. The second reason is really the markup, that you've got distributors. Sometimes you have tiers of distributors and commissions, and that's going to raise the price up significantly, sometimes as much as 60 or 70 percent. So my next question is from John who writes, what's the difference between a 5-plate, a 7-plate, and a 9-plate ionizers? Well, besides the obvious fact that you have a different number of plates, there's a lot of marketing hype around the number of plates that there are. So let me just give you some facts about plates, but a number of things to keep in mind, because a lot of it's just hype. 
Uh, the number of plates really is as important as is the surface area. You can have one huge plate the size of your refrigerator or you could have 20 really small plates. They do the same thing. So some of it just based on the size that makes a reasonable sized machine for the countertop. And so seven is, is a good number for both for surface area and size and production and everything else like that too. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the quality of the materials of the plating um, are going to affect the quality of how well the water is ionized or not. And then the third thing that's very rarely talked about is the fact you could have big plates, but they're, if they're not efficient in terms of the power supply getting to every corner of that plate, and that's a big factor, believe it or not. We've tested some other plates, and some which are large but aren't very efficient and don't work well because the voltage will be different from point to point on the plate. So that's another factor, the quality of the power supply. So it's not an easy answer, but the seven plate's the most popular because of the size and because generally it usually covers enough plate area. Okay, my next question is, should I only drink alkaline water? Well, if I had a serious health condition, I'd probably be drinking a lot more alkaline water than I do. Uh, but what I do is, and this is just based on some of the doctors I've been working with, I drink three to four glasses of alkaline water a day away from my meals. And then I drink three to four glasses of artesian, deep artesian water, which is, has a very balanced pH. And that just to, because the goal for me is not to be totally alkaline because the body has different needs acid and alkaline wise, but, but really to be balanced. So I'm providing some things that are already balanced and then some things like alkaline water that helps offset some of the challenges we encounter now. Okay, my next question is from Eileen who writes, why do I have to take my medication away from ionized water or alkaline water? Well, it's because the ionized water, uh, the molecules in it are such that they just absorb much more readily into the body, which also means that other things you take with the ionized water tends to be more readily absorbed into the body. And since most medications are at a certain dosage, it might affect how much medication. So meaning you might get more of that medication into the system or into the body or wherever it's going. So in order to just keep things simple, just go by your doctor's recommendation and take your medication at a different time than you drink your alkaline water. Okay, so Bill asked the question, I have well water. Will an ionizer work with, with my well water? And we get a lot of questions about well water, also about tap water. Is that healthy if you put an ionizer you know, and do it with tap water? So I'll answer kind of both questions. First, when it comes to well water, it really depends on the condition of the water. We've seen instances where the ionization doesn't really work well because they've got a lot of bacteria or such a high acid content in there that you're not able to get the right results. Um, so the water really should be tested as well water before you go for an ionizer. Uh, the other thing about well water is that often people have either an RO or some other machine that strips all the minerals out of the water. It takes out the bad stuff but also takes the good minerals out. And if you don't have the minerals in the water, the ionizer can't ionize and give you the antioxidants and pH that you want. So it's just not going to work. It has to have enough minerals to be able to charge the water properly. And then when it comes to city water, regular tap water, the good thing about that is that it usually has fluorine and chloride to kill bacteria and germs. Uh, that's a good part, but that, those chemicals aren't really good for your body, in my opinion. So the carbon filter that most ionizers have will usually take out uh, you know, things like chlorine, so then you're, you should be fine with a regular uh, tap or city water if the ionizer comes with a good carbon filter. When people ask me which water ionizer is best, I tell them to take a close look at the Alive Water Ionizer because I believe it's both the best water ionizer and the best value. 
even at $1,495, I believe it's better than the ones that cost over $4,500. And there's a number of reasons why. First of all, it's the only water ionizer in the world using FDA approved safe plastics. Did you know that most plastics release chemicals that mimic hormones like estrogen? Read what the World Health Organization has to say about it via the link below. Second, it's the only water ionizer in the world that has passed a difficult ETL certification. ETL means it has passed the highest standards in the world for quality components, power supply consistency, and even keeps the factories closely monitored for quality. No other water ionizer in the world has passed these expensive tests. Third, did you know some of the top ionizer companies suggest and sell chemicals to enhance their acid and alkaline levels? Some of these chemicals, I believe, are harmful. Fourth, the Alive Water Ionizer has advanced electronics to allow you to mount it under counter with an optional above the sink faucet. And fifth, most ionizers are using outdated technology. By using the latest technology, the Alive Water Ionizer provides better performance, better quality, at a much better price. And all of this comes with a lifetime warranty. The Alive Water Ionizer also features seven plates that use a patented RTI distinct titanium and platinum plating process. This technology means you get a more consistent flow of electrons across the ionizer plates. This development came as a result of discovering that many of the other models had really poor performance when you measured across the plates. It also comes with seven preset pH levels and quick connect hoses, which means you don't need pliers or clamps. In fact, hookup takes under five minutes. To get a good look at how it compares, follow the link below to see this comparison chart. Plus, you'll find video reviews there and this special offer for the Alive Water Ionizer for only $895 plus free shipping.